excitement is filling a struggling district school tonight. First Lady Michelle Obama is going to give this year's graduation address at Anacostia High School in Southeast. Sam Ford live tonight with what students and administrators are saying about this. Sam? Yes, Sine. Well, uh, they're naturally delighted about this. The school had a reputation as a troubled high school where students would often set fires in bathrooms. Students told me today they have had no fire set this school year, and they're trying to present a positive face to the First Lady. At D.C.'s Anacostia High, they're excited that Michelle Obama is speaking at their commencement, particularly members of the class of 2010. The emotion that I have since she's coming, because she's like the first lady of the United States, and she's the first black lady of the United States. You know? She could have went to any other school graduation, but she decided to come here. Yeah. I'm happy for the 12th graders. Anacostia has had a reputation as one of D.C.'s roughest schools. Just 18 months ago, five students were taken to hospitals and treated after a fight in which three were stabbed with a letter opener. Or last year's statistics, reading proficiency only 17 percent, math 18, daily attendance less than 50 percent, graduation 50 percent. This school year, D.C. gave this public school to Friendship Charter Schools to manage. It's slowly turning around, and Friendship's chairman thinks that's why First Lady Obama's coming. Well, that's a critical part of, of President Obama's agenda, is turning around failing schools. The whole race to the top, uh, innovation monies, these things are going to highlight uh, efforts like ours. Three out of four teachers this school year are new from programs like Teach for America. New test scores are not out yet, but attendance last year below 50% is now 70%. We can relate to the teachers now because they like, they're not, they not um, as old and they like can relate to us, so we love them. Yeah, like they fresh off their college experience. The school was so happy to get Mrs. Obama, it changed the graduation date to fit her schedule. Now, this is not the first time that the First Lady has been here. Actually, she was here less than a year ago to talk to a group of 13 Anacostia students. Of course, the vast majority of the students didn't get to see her and were annoyed that they did not. She is also going to speak for commencements this year at George Washington University and the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Reporting live from Southeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right, thanks.